Hey, guess what? It's Dr. Ray, and you know what day it is? It's Testosterone Thursday. Um, I have enjoyed a few of the little emails that some of you have sent to me. I won't mention any names because I know it's a touchy subject for a lot of you guys, and I don't want you to feel like it's a touchy subject. Um, some guys have even mentioned it's kind of weird that a woman is involved in this, but you know what? I don't look at people seeing male, female. I just see chemical reactions. And ironically, um, because I view things that way, sorry, itchy nose, um, I've been able to spot things because I'm a little bit more detail oriented than most people, been able to spot things before they're huge and a major issue. Come on, you know, summer's coming and you want to feel great. And being that summer's coming, I really wanted to take the opportunity to talk to you today about testosterone and how vitamin D actually helps that. So vitamin D is um, something that comes from the sun, um, although this is not by any chance a license to go out there and fry yourself, okay? So I ask you to be careful. It's a delicate thing because vitamin D comes from the sun and you need vitamin D to protect your skin. So you can see how that's kind of like one of these kind of things. Oh wait, where's my hands? There we go. One of these kind of things. So we want you to get some vitamin D. Now, the key to getting the right amount of vitamin D is when your skin starts to feel a little tight or pink, and I know you guys are not in tune to that a lot of times, then get some sunscreen on. But get some sunscreen that has zinc oxide in it. Zinc, ooh, there's a nutrient for you. Um, so that you do not increase the chemicals in your body. Remember, we need to detox too, part of what happens with testosterone. So sun exposure, maybe some of you can take 20 minutes, direct sunlight between you know 10 and 3 kind of thing. Some of you, not so much. Some of you can take like an hour or two before you, you know, have actual uh, pinking of the skin. So let yourself get some direct sunlight for that vitamin D and then go in and put some zinc oxide type natural uh, sunblock on because when we heat up a chemical, it raises it to the 10th power of toxicity. Ooh, who wants that? Not me. I'm trying to keep it clean, right? So one of the things that vitamin D does, other than helps your serotonin, is when we have enough vitamin D, it helps us sleep better. And when we sleep better at night, not during the day for a nap, um, when we sleep better at night, one of the things that happens is we make testosterone. Now, women make our testosterone at night, too. So you'll make better testosterone by having been out and gotten some vitamin D. So you'll wake up in the morning a little bit more alert, a little bit more um, ready to go. Vitamin D also uh, fills, um, fills up a spot in the brain for a luteinizing hormone, which can then stimulate these uh, cells called lytic cells. And lytic cells can help make your vitamin D appear better in your body. So right now, um, today's a really gloomy day in the Chicagoland area. It's kind of rainy in 50, so we all know what that feels like. But I really wanted you to um, get out and get some sun. Um, for you guys, it's super easy because the more sun you can get on the more on, on more of the parts of the body, so you can easily walk outside without a shirt on and some shorts, and you know, you're going to get a big whopping lump of vitamin D. And have you ever noticed that if you're out in the sun, even if you're just sitting out there, you're just, you sleep so much better that night. You're a little bit more exhausted, but you sleep better. There's that vitamin D. So how does this happen? Well, the vitamin D comes down, hits your skin, goes through the fat pad, which we know ends up being related to the cholesterol level. So you have to make sure you have enough cholesterol. Um, and then it goes and it goes to the liver and the liver do does its kind of Rubik's cube thing to this uh, non-active form of vitamin D, sends it to the kidneys and the kidneys change it into this big, long, molecule 125 dicholecalciferol which is the usable form of vitamin d for your body so we want to make sure that you've got everything rolling going and doing good so get out in that sun give yourself the beauty of a little bit of sweat too because if you're sweating you're obviously going to be doing some detox but make sure if you're going to sweat and be out in the sun you're also getting plenty of water and electrolytes in and i'm not talking about that Gatorade kind of stuff. I'm talking about um, real like coconut water or something like that. So when we do those things, hey Chuck, 
um, when we do those things, um, we can guarantee that you're going to start beginning to raise your testosterone level. So raising your testosterone level is, yes, I know it's for the act of sex. I'm not stupid, right? I, I'm older than I, than I look. I know, but I want you to be able to think clearer. That's why a lot of people, when they're out in the sun in the summertime, a lot of people have a lot better mental capacity. They have a lot better, let's get up and go do something. Let's go take a hike. Let's take a bike ride. Let's go swimming. Let's go here. Let's go there. It's because they're getting the nutrients from the vitamin D. So this week's uh testosterone Thursday tip is get your vitamin D. I'm also a fan of pills, but I prefer you get out in the sun and the fresh air and give your brain a break. This is Dr. Ray with Olive Branch Wellness Center. Give us a call, drop us a note, send us an email with your questions. What is your biggest concern about vitamin D or what's your biggest concern about testosterone? So have a fabulous day. Remember, I'm Dr. Ray with Olive Branch Wellness Center and guess what? I don't do sports. I just watch hockey. Have a great week. See you next Testosterone Thursday. Bye-bye.